6.55, 7 o'clock, Thursday, April 21st, 2022. It's not that dark out there right now. It hasn't been dark for at least half an hour. And that guy's brights on, didn't turn him off as he drove by. So, I'm about to break this one up in clips because of the memory on my phone, but yeah, this guy also has brights on. Until, yeah, there's different ways to tell. Brights on big time, wow. Yeah, trying to blind the guy, hero. A real mature, real, real freedom loving, right? Trying to blind me from my freedom of speech. You know, and it caused me cognitive impairment. Everyone knows you feel kind of shocked when you get hit with bright lights. It's not good for the brain, it's not good for your visual system, you know, for your eyes. in this country they organize psychological operations for white supremacy and LGBT supremacy is it any wonder why so many people seem to be acting like gay white guys or gay gender neutral guys or you know, gender neutral white guys nope this guy does not have headlights on neither do I why because there's no reason to have headlights on in case there's any question about that services for the homeless, to house the homeless, to discuss my war on poverty plan, right? It's, it's a disgrace. It's a very, you know, America will never recover from this, even if nobody ever knows what happened, which everyone knows that's going on, basically. Or uh, they, they cover it up in the future or whatever, right? They will always, this, this disgrace will never be wiped away, and they're just making it worse. You could rewind time and prevent the rise of Nazi Germany, would you? prevent slavery, Native American genocide, so on and so forth. These are the people who do not believe in preventing it. They believe in being a part of it. Brights and more brights in the distance. Especially when I'm in the distance like that, it doesn't show up that well on the camera. But it shows up, uh, you know, I can see it clearly in person. as it breaks on as well. This basically happened, I think it was yesterday, and they deleted these from the phone. So let's see if this happens again today, or was it the day before yesterday? It's one of these days. And this guy has his brights on as well. What are the odds, right? It's clear cut that something is going on here. And, you know, all the law enforcement agencies gave the first fuck. And, you know, instead of being part of it, they would have, you know, it's not very hard to see when I go out and so on and so forth. They would follow me and say, what the hell's going on? Pull these guys over, what have you. Guy on the right has brights on, a couple guys on the right have brights on. And to question them about what's going on, uh, look at their IDs, run their names through the government system, see if they're military, FBI, what have you. See what's going on here and say, hey, what you guys are doing is illegal. If you don't stop, we're going to have a press conference and say, there are illegal experimentations on an American citizen and it's apparent that it's over his freedom of speech and it's a violation of the Nuremberg Codes, these various UN regulations, uh, you know, it's, you know it, it should be taken to the United Nations and presented in front of the, you know, it's like some kind of world court for criminals, I what it's called, and these people should be charged as war criminals, okay, because we do it under the guise of there's a war on terror or something, it's, it's now a, an atrocity that has to do with, it's a war crime. And they, they're committing war crimes here, and they're committing uh, federal 
crime, hate crimes by harassing me uh, and, and uh, sexually harassing me, uh, trying to make me gay, poison me, fume me, gay, saying racially harass me, so on and so forth. Right? It's felony stalking, it's war crimes and things of this nature.